thinking of the lioness closest to me is pregnant. Well, no, that is just a tummy full of meat. So she's absolutely massive because they've eaten something. So whatever they ate, it must have been fairly reasonable because you can see even the Birmingham boy's got a slight bump on his tummy. Um, so I reckon they must have killed something quite big. I don't know if anybody's actually seen our zebra that was injured. And I wonder if maybe they didn't grab that zebra and ate that last night and then finished it off because the tracks for the males come from Gari Dam. Two males walked past there, so that's the two that are probably lying off to the side that joined. But maybe these guys found our zebra and ate it. And would be enough to fill all of those bellies, that's for sure. But isn't that lion absolutely magnificent? Look at his mane and look at how it's starting to go dark. You can see one of the telltale signs that, well, one of the ways I always identify Nino is with his black stripe down the middle of his head although he seems to have gotten quite a few scars recently but he's got that black sort of mohawk stripe down the head um, that always is quite useful for me but his whole mane has darkened considerably since the last time I saw him he used to have a very blonde mane but it's now gone a more ginger color and you can see around the chest area it's even starting to go a bit darker as well So we're going to sit here and we're just going to enjoy this beautiful sight of these lions all together. And while we do that, let's go across to Miss McCurdy and see what she's up to.